Hi everyone, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays, and this is my process video number two. And the title is Like Father, and I'm starting out with some Tim Holtz 12 by 12 paper from the Vintage Shabby Collection. So I'm going old school here today, and I always feel really good when I can dig into my old stash and use up what I've bought. And um, I'm using my EK Success postage stamp border punch and it's because I saw Jenny use it on one of her videos and I love the way she just left that one little middle piece so this is a scrap lift for sure and I really really enjoyed her page when it was done with it so I'm trying it out for myself here on this one and this is a picture of my husband and he's posing at Niagara Falls um, we have a picture in our hallway of my father-in-law and many many years ago when he was just a young boy, 16 years old, he posed in that same spot in that same pose. So I think that's why I kind of went vintage with the old paper. Felt like it was a little bit more meaningful. And I'm still using the same Tim Holtz paper pad. Again, I used some more of that index card cut out with my Cricut cartridge, the graphically speaking. I love that cartridge. Um, if you have it, look into it. It's got chevrons, it's got speech bubbles, it's got file folders. It's a really good all-around cartridge. So I did cut up that the pages that come with the 6 by 6 squares of the smaller version of the larger pages by Tim Holtz. And I did put that on my Cricut mat and then just fit to page. So I think it was three and a half that those came out of. And picking up on a little bit of yellow golden tones on the photographs. That's why I picked the turquoise just to pick out on the water. These um, cards that I'm punching out now are from me and my big ideas, the pocket page tags. I mix between those and the Becky Higgins Project Life cards. They seem to work well for me and I love the chevron on there, kind of giving it that post office feel. So here's a challenge for you. You know, use a little bit of the old with a little bit of the new and uh, see what you can come up with and get a, get rid of some of that guilt feeling of hoarding all that paper that we do or always the feeling that we have to buy something new when our scrap rooms are filled with awesome paper. So I'm getting into my um, challenging part. Just now I'm putting down some gold uh, photo corners again from the dollar store. I'm really liking those. So that's the only package I have. So I believe when I'm out there again this week, I'll have to pick up some more because I really have loved using those. And I believe it's Jennifer Gallagher that I stole that idea from, or scrap lifted. I should say scrap lifted, not stole. And uh, the rearranging part, this is where I kind of always think, where do I put things? Where do I start? So this is the honest version of it. I put the glue down first. And I'm really trying to make a connection here, you know, where do I want to put it? But last time I used the washi tape and this time I'm just going for it. Just trying to make sure that um, a little bit of the paper shows and that the tabs are showing where I want them to be. So don't be scared to play around with your paper too or just add very minimal glue to the back sides of it. The ATG is forgiving for me. Sometimes it depends on the quality of the paper or how hard I press, but uh, usually in the winter months here, um, my glue isn't as tough or as sticky or tacky, so it's a little bit more forgiving. And I'm just straightening it out, making sure I really like the placement. And if you see me tapping my fingers, that's me thinking, what should I do now? So I've got these stamps again. These are, I, I believe it was a boy's stamp set. I think it was like a skater dude stamp set and it's got the splatters, um, like a spray paint can splatter. Like if you were to hold the nozzle for too long, that's the kind of stamp set that it is. And it's absolutely awesome. I've used it many, many times before and I really like it. I'm using some VersaFine, or pardon me, you know, some VersaMark. Ink. So I'm going to be embossing these splatters with my gold embossing powder. Again, I'm really into that gold right now. I'm kind of like that. If I like something and it's trendy and it worked for me, I use it until I get tired of it. So again, another tip. 
don't be afraid to redo something that's comfy like a really nice pair of jammies if it feels good and it fits right just go for it it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks as long as the page makes you smile so what I normally do is I don't have any other method I just use usually the recollections paper um, the cover sheet from the paper pads it's a nice slippery type piece of paper so it makes my embossing powder go back into the jar nice and neat and I'm just folding the paper out a little bit just to make it relax from the heat that I just added to it and then I believe this is where I'm adding a little bit of the new and those are studio calico tabs and this is where you can always play around and shop in your own scrapbook room and I know enough of us on YouTube say it and we're all in the same boat sometimes you buy something and you don't use it and you leave it in your room for too long and don't be scared speaking of this is some K and Company fabric tape I've had this for 500 years. It should be in a museum by this time, but no, I thought I'd pull it out because it had the right amount of yellow tones. And uh, here I'm wrestling with my ATG gun to add glue to it because it decided to curl itself up. But I love that it brought in a little bit more of that darker gray that you find in the stone from the lighting in the photo. So it just balanced out my page a little bit because it was just the beige and the blues and the yellows. So. I really like the way that turned out. I'm using Tombow Mono Multi-Glue. This is my first uh, container of it. I like it. It is very good. I think it would replace my uh, quick dry adhesive for sure. It's a nice wet glue and it does hold down these tabs very well for me. Now I'm taking some Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut and I'm using some Seven Gypsies stamps so this wood mounted one and the next one's coming up on the acrylic blocks are all from the same collection it's from the journey collection and I've picked those up separately randomly I just really like the postage style look I really like the memories the old vintage look of that and I decided to use the walnut stain just because I needed to bring not a darker element but almost a tone on tone element to the page and uh, just adding a lot to that top corner um, to bring out the natural stamp that was already there on the paper here I'm layering another piece of Tim Holtz paper and the top part I didn't distress it that's how it ripped out of my paper pad but I liked it I thought sure it's gonna work fine and I'm layering it on the bottom so that you can see uh, where the cutouts are made with the postage stamp border punch and I'm just going around the edge with that walnut stain just to bring a little bit of that brown and to show a little bit more of that natural distressed edge from just ripping it from my paper pad and I love the way it looks it really turned out really neat so thank you Jenny for allowing me to watch your video and allowing me to copy and be inspired by your work like so many of you out there and at this point what am I doing now oh yes I'm doing my pop dots or my what do you call those foam dots foam squares no I'm doing my journaling I'm just writing in how um, how ironic it was that we were able to go to Niagara Falls for our anniversary and that my husband stood and posed and we were just winging it because we look at that picture every day when we walk up the stairs to go to bed so I'm like I think it's about here I think you should put your leg up and you know what when we came home and we matched up the photos it was absolutely hilarious it was exactly and then you start to notice how much you look like your parents when they were younger and all the features that you have so it's a very special photo for us I do have a couple of copies but this one's going into that project life book that I showed you it's the next in line and here I'm just using some of those foam dots to raise the corners just to give it a lot of texture and height and even crinkleness I know that's not a word but I like the way the paper looks when it's molded around the foam dots so again these are things that I've seen um, on YouTube but some of it too is just experimentation and loving the way and the placement of where your foam dots go so don't be scared to play with that as well and here's my uh, 
Dollarama gold letters again. It's another one of those that are on my shopping list. And I'm just putting out the word like, or the words, pardon me, like father. And I figure whoever's going to be looking at this layout in my family will get the pun that it's like father, like son. But I just felt like just putting the title like father. And uh, I think I ripped one of the letters. I was a bit too aggressive when I was pulling them off. Um, but I do like them. They're very good. They have just a little bit of sheen to them. They're easy to work with. I haven't tried putting them on some... I'm going to say parchment paper, but it's not wax paper, you know, like Tracy does and Nicole does. I haven't tried that, so I don't know how well they would do. Some of the letter stickers don't pull off from wax paper as well. So because I only had the one pack, I've winged it. So that would be a next challenge for me to see if it does withstand the wax paper transfer. And here I'm just using my Studio Calico, Calico, pardon me, um, date stamp and I'm using my black VersaFine on purpose. I do want it to stand out underneath the cluster of stamps that I've done at the top in the walnut stain and then again at the bottom and it's the chevron arrows pointing towards the memories there. And the last little tidbit bring down some more of that gray on the bottom corner. This layout took me about 30 minutes to complete and well not including cutting out with a Cricut cartridge but uh, have fun find out what your old stash is like I hope you like this video I hope my voiceovers are getting a little bit better thank you for your wonderful comments on my last videos and uh, have yourselves a very happy wonderful scrap Saturday and uh, I'll see you soon thanks guys